enough. Where are my specimens? I said, where are my specimens? It's time for an experiment. There's no one there. Show me. I can feel one of my moods coming on. Welcome to the candy kitchen, gentlemen. I do hope so. I like my volunteers to die with smiles on their faces. This is where you come in, gentlemen. The interesting part, the tasting. Ah, a labour of love, Doctor. A labour of love. Just because Helen A. prefers my ugly side doesn't mean I don't care, does it, Gilbert M.? Gilbert M.! Thank you. And just because she employs me as her executioner doesn't mean I can't be creative. No need to worry, gentlemen. Tonight you see before you the artistic, sensitive side of me. So I make sweets. Not just any old sweets, but sweets that are so good, so delicious, that sometimes if I'm on form, the human physiology is not equipped to bear the pleasure. Tell them what I've tried to say, Dilbert. Now let's see what we've got for you. What about them? I didn't realize you were conceding an interest in the mechanics of execution, Doctor. A man after my own soft center. The secrets in the pipes. Vanilla secret tomorrow night, I think. Just when the victim thinks he's been pardoned, it flows into the yard and smothers him. It's ingenious, isn't it? We call it fondant surprise. The foam can be diverted down another pipe, but I'm not going to tell you how. Anyway, it's a hypothetical question. What reason could I possibly have for stopping an execution? Did I? Difficult to say. It's all in there somewhere. Caramel, sherbet, toffee, marzipan, jelly agents. It's all in motion. Very droll, Doctor. Perfectly. What? Silence. Gilbert! Gilbert, where are you? Gilbert, come here! Gilbert! Gilbert! Gilbert, they're getting away from here! You'll be sorry! Gilbert!